Next up in the fantastic range of Second Sight Limited editions, and you know, I, I love these editions, you know, the Changeling, Extro, When a Stranger Calls, Take Shelter, they were fantastic, and for a collector, Essentials, World in a Wire is another one of these fantastic packages. You know, I knew nothing about the movie going into it, other it was directed by Rainier Werner Fassbinder, someone that I've heard of, but I've never seen any of his movies. This was a made-for-TV two-parter, you know, both parts running about an hour and 45 minutes each. And this is something special. This is something that has obviously influenced a lot of filmmakers uh, since it was released in 1973. And it is still amazing today. Going to it as someone that's never heard of it or seen it, I love this thing. The basic story is all about our main character, Fred Stiller, who works for this company. Suddenly, his boss just drops dead one day. He has this co-worker who mysteriously vanishes, and uh, everybody says that they can't remember him, or at least pretend that they can't remember him, um, and it seems as if there is a conspiracy of sorts going on. Fred's company deals with this program they've created called Simulacron, which is a program where they have created a virtual world, populated it with virtual people who go about their day-to-day -day business unaware that they are in a program. And the idea behind this is that they'll be able to tell through what these people do, what kind of raw materials they will need going into the future so they can basically make sure we've got enough or do something nefarious like start to play the stock markets and gain money out of it. It is a state-run experiment and that's about all I want to tell you. There's certain things about this that I feel needs to be discovered. And it's a movie that is constantly twisting and turning and just kept me on the edge of the seat with fantastic characters. And as much as I'd love to delve into the story, trust me, go into this knowing as little as possible other than that main setup and you will be overjoyed with what you discover because this is just a truly fantastic movie. You get the main character of Fred who is a rather complex individual. He doesn't want to be uh, in the kind of advanced power stages as he is. He is battling with someone who's a more um, senior member of staff but it doesn't have anything to do with the experiment. Basically the owner of a company who wants to do nefarious things and he has to deal with all these people this conspiracy of his friend who has seemingly vanished, um, why the, the good doctor, his boss, died mysteriously, and it all comes together in, in really weird tangents that's just so fantastic to discover. It's all about the psychological effect that it has on Fred, the feel that he is starting to lose control of both the company and his sanity. He's not sure uh, what's reality, what's not, and, and his trips into this world, which is very much Matrix-like, you know, on a phone, they, they, they plug into a program, they go down into the world, they use a telephone to get back out of it, they speak with people in there that don't really know they're in a program, and it becomes a real mind trip. One of the most fascinating things about this movie is the way that it's filmed. The camera work is simply immense and so visual and so very much telling the story in an unusual form. And to see the way the camera moves or focuses in, there'll be groups of people talking and suddenly it'll just focus in by everybody else onto one character. And it does these really fascinating, really interesting choices that just elevate this above anything else in a similar sort of fashion. It is something that is really terrific and really well done. This is a package that you have to pick up. This is a terrific movie, something that has influenced many science fiction movies and many other movies through its style, its direction, its editing. The score is simply uh, mesmeric and gets really under your skin. I find myself humming it for days later, the main theme of the thing. And this is another action-packed disc of just amazing content. On disc one, we have the first part of the movie and we have Looking Ahead, a retrospective which is about 48 and a half minutes, which is terrific, talking to some of the actors that are still alive about the production and people who were there, what was going on. It's just a really interesting, fascinating addition to this disc. We have Observing Fassbinder, which is just under eight minutes and it's a tribute to photographer 
Peter uh, gone. We have an onset feature rate, which is about four minutes, just a little bit more than that. Uh, and that's all the content on disc one. Uh, on disc two, we have the second part of the movie. Uh, we have no strings attached. It's uh, someone talking about Fassbinder. It's just under 30 minutes. We have the original TV recap, which is just under five minutes as well. And then probably my favourite is the simulation argument, which is 22 and a half minutes. And it's basically this professor um, discussing the ramifications or the idea behind this similar con program you know could it be possible is that something that's plausible or could we be stuck in it right now this uh, is a dense film it's something that i'm going to go back to again and again it is supposed to be a two-parter but it finishes midway through one scene and begins there it can be viewed as, as one movie and i think it's something that i'd possibly go to next time i was watching it i watched this and then gave it a couple of days and watched the second part but i, I because I told it was a dense movie. I got told you need to let it sink in, but I was eager to watch that second part, um, which I wish I'd done sooner. But, you know, it's a great movie. It's a great package. It is highly recommended. This is a, an outlier of science fiction movies. It is terrifically well filmed and shot. Great score. All round amazing with some unbelievably uh, nuanced and terrific performances. This is an essential pickup. Don't rest on your laurels in this one. This is one that I, I highly suggest getting as soon as because I'm pretty confident it's going to go out of print uh, fairly soon. There we have it. I'd love to know if you've seen this, what you thought of it, and if you're picking up this disc, which I, if you're a collector, I really hope you do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man vs. Film.